Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce the structure of the mass transistor and what are the different modes of operation of this mass transistor. See, this is the mass transistor structure where it consists of several layers like metal, polysilicon, oxide, n-type diffusion, p-type diffusion, p substrate, n substrate and depletion. Depending on the type of the transistor we are choosing whether it is a p-type substrate or n-type substrate and the remaining layers n plus diffusion or p plus diffusion, oxide layer, polysilicon, metal layer all these are common for the transistor. See MOS transistor MOS stands for metal oxide semiconductor transistor metal oxide semiconductor transistor it is quite different from the bipolar junction transistor or unipolar unipolar junction transistor whatever you have studied in the second year of engineering okay mass transistor is an advanced version of the transistor design where several layers are included to design a low power device okay see the structure shown here is an nmos transistor okay there are two types of transistors as i said one is NMOS transistor, another one is PMOS transistor. NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor. In NMOS transistor, NMOS transistor is analogous to your NPN transistor of the BJT and PMOS transistor is analogous to PNP transistor in the BJT. That means in NMOS transistor, there are two N plus regions and one P substrate. And in PMOS transistor, there are two P plus regions and one N substrate. Okay, opposite is the case with respect to the substrate. Suppose consider for example, in this example, I have taken N MOS transistor. See, the structure is referring to the N MOS transistor. For the N MOS transistor, as I said, for N MOS transistor, we should consider a P type substrate. P substrate. Okay, so this is the substrate the box completely shown here it is the substrate the rectangular shape completely shown is the substrate which is of p type substrate so that's why you see the structure of the p type substrate each and every layer is having a specific representation of this mass transistors okay each and every layer okay specific representation is there this representation you should follow whenever you are going to take that particular layer Okay, so P type substrate is represented with a cap like this. Okay, suppose if you are taking a layer like this and drawing like this, that means it represents a P type substrate. Whatever may be the shape, whether it is a rectangular, circular, or square, whatever the shape it is, that represent that uh, 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 this particular representation shown it is a P type substrate. Okay, now it is an N type and here it is N type. These two are two N plus diffusions. The N plus diffusion representation is slashes like this. See, N type diffusion is shown like this. Okay, suppose if you are taking a shape and you are drawing like this means that is the N type representation. P type diffusion is also same but here wider gaps are there between the lines. This is the P type representation. If you are having narrow lines then uh, shorter gaps between the lines then that uh, shape represents the n-type diffusion okay so this is the n-type and this is the n-type we are having n plus diffusion here n plus diffusion here in between these two n plus diffusions we are having a connection between these two that represents the channel that represents the channel see here this is the source terminal this is the drain terminal and this one is the gate terminal. For mass transistor, there are three terminals, gate, source and drain. Gate, source and drain. Okay. So, again, there are two voltages we are applying, which is between gate to source and another one is the drain to source. Gate to source, that is the VGS voltage and drain to source, that is the VDS voltage. Two voltages are there. And this gate to source voltage is responsible for the creation of channel. And once the channel is created, depending upon the application of voltage VDS, the current will flow from drain to source. Okay. So, gate to source voltage is applied to create the channel. That means there exists a path between 
source and drain for the electron to move electron will be moving in this direction and the current will be moving from drain to source this is the actual operation how it is going on and coming to the gate terminal at the gate we are having two more different layers so one is the polysilicon another one is the oxide layer polysilicon is the material that is also a semiconducting layer existed at the gate terminal wherever you are having the polysilicon that terminal blindly treated as a gate terminal below which or beneath that polysilicon we are having an oxide layer of thickness 1.1 uh, micrometer okay here we are depositing thin oxide layer with a 0.1 micrometer thickness okay very small thickness we are having at the gate terminal and above which we are having a polysilicon of 1 micrometer above which we are having metal this is the metal here it is metal here it is metal and here it is metal so metal is indicated by vertical lines like this see this metal actually this representation is known as metal one several metal layers are there okay i will tell in future when i am going to, to explain the stick diagrams and layout diagrams there i will explain what uh, how many metals are there and what are the representations of each and every one so right now it is better to represent the metal representation is as uh, vertical lines this is the polysilicon backslash oxide layer just uh, a box with dots that represents the oxide layer and n type diffusion this is the narrow gap lines and p plus diffusion or p type diffusion with the wider gaps and p substrate caps and n substrate slash one like this n substrate like this we need to take and depletion layer suppose if n type material and p type material are placed side by side here n type material is there here p type material is there when these two are placed side by side definitely there exists some depletion layer depletion layer is nothing but recombination of electrons and holes electrons from the n type diffusion and p uh, holes from the p type these two are recombined together and produces a neutral voltage that is nothing but depletion layer this is the depletion layer okay so this is the structure of the mass transistor mass transistor is having several layers that are incorporated to create the mass transistor at the gate terminal we are having polysilicon okay every terminal is having metal layer through which only we are having the contact through which we are having contact and two voltages are there vgs and vds vgs is responsible for the creation of channel and vds is responsible for the flow of current okay these are the two voltages what are the topics we have discussed here uh, two voltages are there voltages are two voltages what are they vgs gate to source voltage responsible for the creation of channel responsible for the creation of channel another voltage is vds responsible for the flow of current responsible for the flow of current and polysilicon appears polysilicon appears at gate terminal polysilicon appears at the gate terminal and another important point is metal used for contacts at all the terminals like gate source and drain at all the terminals nothing but gate source and drain okay every layer have has separate representation every layer has separate representation by seeing that layer itself we should know which layer it is okay by seeing that substrate layer okay whether it is a p type substrate or n substrate we should able to discriminate okay so and the channel is existed between channel is existed between 
source and drain channel is existed between source and drain if it is a n mass transistor n type channel is existed between source and drain nothing but electrons are created if it is a p mass transistor p type channel is existed between source and drain okay uh, these are the points we have covered from this one next now let us see what are the different modes of operation of this mass transistor modes of operation of the mass transistor there are two modes of operation of the mass transistor one is enhancement mode enhancement mode another one is depletion mode enhancement mode and depletion mode what do you mean by enhancement mode and what do you mean by depletion mode in enhancement mode there is no channel between source and drain whatever may be the type of the device whether it is a p type device or n type device here for example we are taking an mos transistor okay here this is the n mos transistor by seeing the structure you should know here we are taking p type substrate p type substrate means it is n mos transistor for n mos transistor we are taking opposite substrate so p type substrate and here the first figure a represents the enhancement mode and mass transistor the transistor is operated in the enhancement mode enhancement mode means no channel no channel enhancement mode means there is no channel by default there is no channel but we need to create the channel by the application of gate to source voltage hope you understand okay by default the transistor will not come with channel but we can create the channel between source and drain by the application of gate to source voltage vgs okay but if you go to the depletion mode of transistor in the depletion mode of transistor channel is already created by the process of ion implantation by the process of ion implantation channel is already created between source and drain so in depletion mode of operation there is no need of vgs even if we keep vgs is equal to zero that gives flow of current depending upon the vds applied here because channel is already created but here in the case of enhancement mode vgs if we keep zero there is no channel there is no current okay definitely we should maintain minimum threshold voltage of the, between gate to source so that's why vgs is definitely required in the case of enhancement mode of the transistor okay so in depletion mode channel is there in depletion mode channel is there by default because of the process of ion implantation the creation of the channel between source and drain is known as ion implantation ion implantation see there is there exists a channel there exists a channel what i told you vgs is responsible for the creation of channel but in the depletion mode channel is already created so there is no need to apply vgs separately that means vgs we can keep it zero but vds we need to apply definitely for the flow of current clear but in the case of enhancement mode vgs we should definitely apply for the creation of channel once the channel is created next task is to apply vds so that the current will flow okay so that is the meaning of enhancement mode and depletion mode of operations of the mos transistor thank you